right, so now let's check for linearity. To do that, we're going to go under graphs. We actually need to graph the data and visually assess whether or not we have linear relationships. So we went to graphs and pulled up the chart builder. Down here, you'll notice one called scatter and plot. Once you've clicked on that, these options will appear. Go ahead and pull up the scatter matrix. Drag that up here. And you're going to drag over all the variables you want to assess for linear relationships between. So in this case, just so we actually get some that have a linear relationship, we'll grab those two. Whatever your variables are that are going into your analysis, you'd want to go ahead and grab those and put them over. So we have a whole bunch of variables in there. Once you've pulled over all the variables that are going to be included in your analysis, go ahead and click on OK. It will take it a minute to churn that out for you. And if you scroll down, you'll see you have something that looks like this. Most of the time, what you get in SPSS looks far from linear, like many of our variables here. If I double click on this, I should be able to increase its size. We can get a slightly better look at it. All right, so we'll start with this first variable, we wish they all looked like this. This is a gorgeous linear relationship between the age someone is and the amount of time. I can see down here that it's time total. That's the number of years or months they've been in the profession that they're currently working in. Not too surprisingly, people who are older have been working longer. Um, I've spent more years in their chosen profession. So we have a nice linear relationship between these two variables. It's not perfectly straight. We've got a little extra data down here. Um, there are some people who haven't been in their current jobs as long, even though they're a bit older. So maybe they had a midlife change in their career or something like that. It probably explains these dots right here. The rest of these variables look much like we tend to find things in SPSS. So looking at the relationship between age and social support. Um, most of our participants had high levels of social support, which we see here. And there are some people, and it was sort of regardless of age. Most of our data set was younger rather than older. So we see that we have sort of more data in the bottom half um, of this box. So they're younger. High upper half is going to be older and higher scores on social support versus lower scores on social support. And so that's frequently the sort of data that we're going to get in a scatter matrix. Sorry for this double click to activate. It really wants me to activate this. This one actually has a fairly linear relationship. We don't have much in the upper left hand corner. We only have one person down here in the lower right hand corner. It's a fairly linear relationship um, between age and traumatic events. People who are younger have been exposed to fewer traumatic events than people who are um, older, which makes some sense. There's just been fewer years to do that. Now, variables like this, this is between the total time they've been in their current job and negative cognitions. There really is no relationship going on between those two variables. That's just a pretty random looking scatter. Most people are lower in the total time they've been in their jobs. So we see more dots at the bottom. Um, and that's really about all we have going on with that variable. So that's the sort of things you'd be looking for. Now, what we really don't want to see is any sort of curvilinear relationship. We don't want anything that looks like a rainbow or the letter U or that goes up for a while and then levels off or starts low and then climbs up. But any sort of, so long as we aren't seeing any sort of real curves going on in here, we can go ahead and assume that whatever relationships we have, they're linear in nature. A lot of these don't seem to have too much of a relationship and our variables are probably a bit skewed, which is why we're seeing the sorts of congregations of dots that we're seeing. We wish everything looked like age and time total.